I grew up like above a take Chinese takeaway like in Camden and you know like a punk would like walk in and pat me on the head um, whilst I give them their sweet and sour pork. Um, so you know that just seeing all of that kind of like madness it, you know is always like really eye-opening when you're like a child. I don't think I would be the person that I am if I didn't grow up in London. All those experiences came together and made me, made me who I am. <laughs> I think I have a, a kind of different perspective only also because I didn't study fashion and I didn't start out in fashion and I didn't go that normal route of interning when you're like 17 and then just working your way up. What I'm really interested in is, you know, how does fashion kind of connect with the wider world? Oh my god, your puppy is having a moment. You can hear him. Okay, hopefully he'll have calmed down in a second. I just kind of wanted to um, obviously give you a call, Skype call, and to kind of talk a little bit about what you're up to at the moment. At the point when I did decide to go, you know, full time with the blog, and that was about three years ago, I just left Dazed and Confused at the time. It felt like a, the right moment and that fashion blogging as a field had kind of grown up because when I first started, it was quite ramshackle and it was really DIY. It had gotten to the point where I could see fashion blogging developing much like printed publications. Can you show me anything of the artist or like who you're, who is it that you're working yes. with? Um, her name is Marie Angeletti. This is a very like sneak peek because you can't even really see, but there's a bunch of images here. Yeah. I probably don't use like ev everything that's available, but I use what is essential. I have Skype, Photoshop. I like to keep things to like a minimum. Do you have any lookbook images from, yeah, I do from have Resort? Them, yeah. There we go. I actually have ended up working a lot off my phone, which I never thought would be possible probably three years ago. I can go in and even like jig bits of coding on, on, on the blog. So it's, you can do pretty, pretty much everything. It's just on a smaller, smaller scale. Okay. To be honest, I am a bit of a workaholic. I, I really, I really don't see the kind of separation between like blogging on the couch at 9 p.m. at night and real life, as it were. One sort of blurs into the other. We need to stop here. We need to like just digest the fact that there's a there's a Chung Sam dress here that I'm actually into, and doesn't make me think of like cheesy waitresses in dim sum restaurants. like things like you know Port Elliot Festival in, in Dun Cornwall. I think not so much like for fashion, just like to feed the brain and I want to try and make it to more kind of literature festivals probably. I am going to be writing a book and it's going to be published in 2015. It's really a book about my approach to style. I'll be doing a, a lot of traveling to sort of get content for the book and take really good images and do profiles with designers and meet interesting people and kind of compile all of that into, I don't know, like an anthology, a style anthology? I think that's, that's the best way I can put it. It was really good to catch up with you. You too, Susie. Thank you so much. Speak to you later. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>